you're returning to Pioneer and basically this is the same deck we ran in the previous versions the only change is we've added unmoored egos for potential combo hate out i'm keeping a lot of these cards in the sideboard the single color ones because i think they've done work up till now aside from that though we have our handy dandy notepad and we will jump into pioneer and we'll try and get some matches in let's see how busy pioneer is Not a great start, but you know, it's not going to be modern. <laughs> As we said many times, modern is a juggernaut at this point. Our opponent is thinking. Go on, Geocaster. There we go. Our opponent comes back to it. We reveal Gigantha. And we have a no-go. 27 lands, but we did not get a green. this for now we'll get rid of we can't cast out for these but I think vanishing verse has more play so let's just see how this goes planes oh is this monoid auris oh is this death and taxes because valley has been printed Oh dear. Boros, interesting. Well, we apparently are going to be on a no-go with our um, lands, apparently. Okay, well, we could be in trouble here. All right, we're going to try for the growth spiral at the end step here. So this is a Boros Agro. Let's use this, see if we can find anything. 3 6, no, we still die. Okay. Yep, lands there were the killer, so. Tap lands. Bad. Okay, uh, we will need our fatal pushes for this matchup. Um, all of this stuff is good, it's just. It was just literally the fact that we just did not draw any of our lands. <laughs> hmm. Uh, get rid of the 
Valky's a win more card in this scenario, and we'll get rid of Clothis because there's no graveyard hate here. All right, we'll see where things go here. Also, it was a huge misplay on my part because I forgot about double strike, and I really should have thrown the. Uh... All right, so we have three lands here, so this is definitely a keep. So we can turn to Voice of Resurgence or Vanishing Verse. Although a lot of his permanents were not bore us. On hindsight, I really should have removed this. So. Right, let's start with this. Let's get a board presence off the bat. I would suggest that we pump this into thing and play voice. Then we can steam. That'll also let us hold up this. Yes, so everything is multicolored, that could be an issue. Okay, let's play this, play Voice of Resurgence. We need to play another Ketrome. Okay, he has a flyer now. Flying could be an issue, but I think we'll be fine, so we will just exile this. Okay, so we'll play this tapped, pass the turn. See what our opponent goes for here. Attacking, so we will vanishing verse this. Then we will block. That dies gives me a thing. We'll play this untapped and we'll drop in Yishan, the impactful earth. Get the two basics that we need. Huh? Okay. Um, that's another point. took Valky out, I believe, didn't I? Need black, blue, red, white. Let's drop Niv. Reload! Curve. Hit cards. That'll do. Hit for seven. And then we have him dead to rights. If well, this is lethal if he does not have a response, so let's just attack. So this has got it the favor. Flash, okay. What does it do? Is it an attacking or blocking creature? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> oh, he made a mistake. Well, I'd like that back, thank you. Reload! So yes, I will get this and draw more cards. <laughs> Should have hit the token. That was probably his biggest mistake. Mm. Yep. He had a bit of a... Lovely hand there. Mm. Honestly... The biggest... Why have we randomly got one different... Okay, you know what? I'm not going to question the bot that gave me these. Um, I think I need to bring Valky back in, just because Valky in that situation would have been amazing. Um, do we pull out the Clarion? No, the Clarion could be... Oh, 
Oh, you know what? We're going to get rid of him. No, no. Um, get rid of him is always a chance. Uh, I don't know if that's right. We need interaction. Our opponent's going to get off to a blazing start. He's going to... See what we get. We get no interaction, but we do hit lands. We are on the draw. I'm gonna risk this hand, so I don't know if this is a bad choice. We go Triome Steam Vents into Growth Spiral to draw the third land, and hopefully that can be enough to get us out of this. Dried Militant again? No, Soldier of the Pantheon. That is gonna be a problem. Fortunately, we do have options for that, but we need to hit the push. This is fine. So we have green, yep, so we will play blue here. Right. Attack. It's fine. You know what? We're going to do it now. If we hit a push here, it changes what we do with the... What we do with the card. We did not hit a push, so we were just going to play a tap land and pass. Mm. Light up the stage. Griffin's boon. Can we play till the end of turn? That's fine. So you could put a boon on this and make it harder to block. Way tougher to block, actually. Yeah. So it's Boros Agro. Vanishing Verse fortunately doesn't help with the, the menace here. Okay. We're going to put you in tapped and pass the turn. We are going to have to see what our opponent does here. damage you prevent that damage plus one instead okay so I'm taking damage here unless I want a vanishing verse I do want a vanishing wait what oh no it's it's multicolored so I'm taking five okay right let's prismari command draw two cards discard two cards and create a treasure token let's go red blue one so we need to hit we did not hit I don't believe it we did not hit a push this could be bad there's a push a bit late to the party so we can play Niv here so let's go blue white red Right, gotta do this differently. Red. White. Black. Cast Niv. Yep, you can have a life from this. Reload. What I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna gain all of these. Then I'm going to use this for black. And then I'm going to cast this on Soldier's Pantheon. Because I bought in monocolored removal, because I'm smart, not because. <laughs> um, we need to keep this for a flyer. Alright, 
we could lose this here. Tajik, Heretic Kafar, that's fine. Right, okay, let's uh, get serious here. So we're gonna have six mana. We need to keep these two. So if we can go black and green. Black and green. Kill this. Then we can. I'm a fool because I played that the wrong way around. So that won't do it. So red. Actually, you know what? What might just be better is just killing this. So. We don't have black <laughs> Okay, you know what? We're going to... Uh, we can't do this because I'm so silly. Right, what we're going to do to just gain us the things here is we're just going to use this to give lifelink. Give us a bit more of a boost. And that'll put us to 15 and we'll be winning this race. I'm such a fool there. Well, that one's my misplay, so we'll go on the notebook. I promise I would include everything. Talking. This car. Yep, that's alright. She's dying next to anyway. Uh, yes, we will just stick through this turn. Alright, so let's go black, red, we just need to dreadball this just so we can start playing creatures for blockers and then we can I think it's better because if we play this we can hold up yeah so let's go green white voice of resurgence we'll hold up a vanishing verse or a fatal push is required Because if he's going to flash in that uh, the god or the legendary creature that gives flink, we can gain a creature out of it. Oh no, I'm guessing that our opponent must have had that in hand. Get rid of this and try for another match. Alright, <laughs> uh, we're going to cut it. We finally found another match. Let's see how we do with this. Okay, go. Ooh. 
Footsies, yep. Bring to light, interesting choice. I'm assuming you must have more discard. Or is he vampires? Yeah, there's another discard. Okay, is this just... But then can, what is this deck? Uh, we'll play this and we'll play ye. Play this and just drop our resident four drop and see what we get here. So is this just, uh, oh, is this doom foretold? No, Kaya's Wrath. So it's just a control deck. Interesting. So is it... How does it win then? Oh, it's got Nell's Wrath. Okay. Play two human tokens. Play a land. We'll cycle one of our Triumphs here. We'll draw another land. We're gonna have the reverse this game, I can feel it. All right, there's a bring to light. So we need to bring to Niv here and just get all of our mana out, yeah? I agree, let's do it. Red, black, white, blue. Bring to light, grab a Niv Mizzet. Cast an Mizzet. Reload! Get a bunch of creatures and stuff to answer all these threats. Perfect. Okay, let's see what our opponent goes for here. If they minus two the Elspeth again, or minus one it, what does the minus one do? Plus two plus O, oh, so it could be a lot of damage. Okay. Drew five cards. I'm going to guess that we need to exile Elsbeth. So this must be a Doom Foretold deck, right? There's literally no reason this wouldn't be Doom Foretold. Alright, so you make a bunch of 1-1s. One Not a big deal. Okay. Let's get this for real. So let's play Clothis. Oh yeah, so we kill this. Clothis. Hmm, how do we do this? I think we exile this, right? Yeah, so we should start with this. We should Vanishing first, the Elsbeth. And white. Then we should Play this tapped. Then we should play a Clothis. Then we should punch in for six. Because if they're going to race us, we should at least get the damage in now. And if they want to spend their turns board wiping, I'm okay with that. Okay, you made two angels, that's fine. All right, we'll exile this, gain two life, put you down. We are struggling for things to cast here. 
Wait, is that until the next turn they gain indestructible? Oh, that could be an issue. So let's just play this white green. And then we can play this tapped. And then we can hold back. Because we're going to have enough reactions here to deal with stuff. Okay, they're going to convert. Right, they must have a board wipe. Or an effect that will screw with this, so we'll block the four, we'll block one of the one ones, we'll take four, five, six, seven. We'll take seven, go down to half. Fatal push. Okay, you lose one life. I get a 1-1 one, one that becomes a 2-2 two, two to attack back. We might be able to win this. Oath of Kaya, go down to 9. Or oh, is it going to do the damage to Niv? I think they are going to do the damage to Niv. Okay. We are going to need something here. Right, let's draw two cards, discard two cards, and deal two damage. No, create a treasure token. No, wait, hold on. Draw two cards, discard two cards, create a treasure token. Me, me. Red, blue, black that is not great honestly that is quite terrible okay let's get rid of one of these four teasers just to give us a bit more time okay we can play a land we need to dreadboard the angel black red one, two, three. It's not going to be enough. I'm going to have to move this to hand. Two, three. Now I'm going to have to pass the turn. We're going to have to trade. for one see what they do here I mean taking three I could do this and take two yeah I think I am going to do this and take two because then I gain two back exactly oh he uh he had a Urian, I didn't even notice he was running a Urian. So this is Doom for Told Urian. Alright, so I need to draw a very specific amount of cards right now. In fact, I honestly need to draw... Yeah, I am literally just going to die here. <laughs> Turned out Double Fort Season, a Flood will do that to you. Uh, get rid of this. Six. All right, so we will just cycle this, and if we don't get, if we flood out, well, we can now cast this, and we get another land. Yeah, that's just it. We're dead here. Man, we flooded hard this game. All right, so it's doom foretold. I do not know, honestly, how to fight this deck. I'm guessing that we need these. I guess we need on more egos as well. I want to see what's in this deck. Clarion would have been great. Clothis did uh, did do a lot. You need to come in. Vanishing versus to do his charms didn't do anything. 
Basically, I think it was just the fact that our opponent just hit double Fortsies in an 80 card deck, which I think is pretty rare, but it's still backbreaking. Like, honestly, I'm still thinking 27 lands is too much. We honestly don't even have enough threats if I'm. Take out the Clarion. This might be a misplay because he got a lot of 1-1s, but honestly, all he had was from the Elspeth, so I'm I'm pretty sure the entirety of this deck must be built on the premise of playing like Doom Foretold effects. No, we'll keep this because I'm quite confident he's going to have like a triple Fortsy's hand. It's nice to see a Urian deck. They kind of dropped out of favor for a bit. Honestly, I think the, the most insane thing about that was just, I mean, mathematically, the odds of having the double Fortsy's hand was pretty insane. So, I mean, I'm assuming we're just going to see turn one Fortsy's here again because he, oh, he didn't get that. Interesting. Okay, we'll play this and we'll pass the turn. He might have bought in hate to just take out the news. Okay, we are having another flood game. This might be the match where we are obligatory required to flood out. Now we'll get the forties. <laughs> okay, I will discard a land and a land. So he has the go blank effects too. Interesting. Well, then I guess I'm just gonna blue, white, red, black. Just cast no reload off the top. That gave me four choices, okay? Treacherous Blessing to draw more cards. So let's choose the Doom Foretold. Or do we choose Kaya's Wrath? I mean, you know what? Because we're still learning this format, we can have a choice here. Oh, because he top decked the rest. Well, you really have to take the Unmoored Ego. Yep, I figured. Play this. Play Clothus. Honestly, not having Veto, I think, has hurt this. Alright, so now he's going to board wipe on his turn. page on Magic Online because I want to see what this deck is like. And yeah, I know this could be considered cheating, but I just want to have a look. Okay, we got it here. Yep, so they are running main board for your and Freibans, Lolef, both familiar with Sack Effect, so on and so on. Oh, they are not running the uh what you call it. Ironically, they are running quite a bit of stuff that could do things. Okay. I 
I think honestly I have to do this now to just not let him get any card advantage. I have to vanishing verse the blessing. So he gets nothing from this Urian flicker. Oh yep, and he concedes to that. Alright. Bad hand on his part. So this might be a dream match where I bring in Notion Thief. I don't think Yi Shang's gonna do anything. Right, yes. That is the trap I used to fall for in standard and one I should really consider here is that you must not let them keep the um, treacherous blessings. Like if they, this deck is pretty sweet actually. I wonder if he's running the Lolith. All right. We can keep this. Alright, we keep this and see what he does. This is always one of the things that has always annoyed me pertaining to the uh, the companions is, well, not really. I think the companions should not have been, well, they should have been really. Yeah, I don't think you can do it. I think if you want it as your companion, you shouldn't have been able to run it in your deck. Alright, he's getting a good start here. We won't pay life because we want to preserve life here. So, free mana, he can probably cast his treacherous blessing or go blank. Yes, there's the go blank as expected. So, how to proceed here? I think we get rid of Bring to Light and Abrupt oh, Decay. Yeah. Bring to Light and Abrupt Decay. So he's used one of his Goblanks. I'm assuming that he brought in the ones from the sideboard here. So a good four hit here would be the Treacherous Blessing, because that appears to be the only way he draws cards. Right? Yeah, okay. So, we play this. We unmoor Digo. And we're gonna put in, um, that's a seven mana spell. So let's go with Tourette. E A. This is where you get the fun. treacherous blessing. All right, right of oblivion or run of the sun. Four treacherous blessings in hand. Yes. So next turn, I'm probably losing this. That's fine. Okay, we play these, get rid of those, yep. So he's got no card advantage now. So he fought Caesar's the Niv, we can still Nahiri. Yep, it's fine. Land, Omen of the Sun. Dropping the Nahiri will force him to at least attack here. It will plus Nahiri, discard the Dragon Skull and draw a card. We are flooding again, so I'm assuming this will be Rite of Oblivion. something relevant and quickly 
Honestly, a uh, game, a huge ton of lands is not going to help me. <laughs> it is kind of fitting though how it um, it goes with the old. And he can flash this back. Yep. And he's drawing extra cards. It's fine. He too seems to be struggling with lands. All right, come on, please. Not great. All right, you know what, we're gonna do this. Blue, green, growth spiral. We draw, completely pointless. It would force him to use that. That would put me down to a free turn clock. Uh, he wouldn't have another removal. <sighs> okay, again, we are having one game where we didn't draw lands, but then two games, two games where we've been flooded pretty hard. So I'm going to assume that the higher average here will be it's fine. Eggs, I need drew a trial of ambition. Oh, okay, we need to specifically top deck a Niv or we just die. So this is bad side running on my part because I thought this was a Doom for Trolls control, but now looking at the list, and I was checking it when we were searching his deck, it is pretty much entirely a uh, order of control list. Uh, I should have left the Clarions in, but again, we're having another game where we're just not. Okay, yeah, well, what do we get here with a cycle? We get another lap, you know what? <laughs> we flooded hard that game. Alright, we'll cut it for our third and final match here, and then we'll review what we're learning for the deck. I still don't feel comfortable taking this deck into a Pioneer League. Alright, reveal to Ganifer, and what is our third match against? I'm going to keep this because, screw it, I will never get to cast Valky apparently in Pioneer. Uh, we will play this tapped and pass the turn. Oh, this is a Prowess hate deck. Mono Red Burn, this could be a big problem. Let's play this. That's the turn. I will block here. So if they want to burn a ton of spells, making it bigger, go ahead. You have to burn two spells here and lose potentially free damage. Oh, okay. They didn't want to. Interesting. Four mana here. Do we just... Yeah, I think we do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this. And we're going to minus two on the Nahiri. Because they didn't have a follow-up here. I mean, if you want to kill Nahiri, go ahead. But the fact that you didn't have a turn two follow-up creature in the aggro deck is pretty reassuring to me. Plus, if she eats a burn spell here, that's damage that didn't go to my face. Yep, that's fine. Oh, I think you've already figured out that, yeah. Ramanap, Ferocious Redostodon, it's fine. Okay, well, we'll do this. Black, green, white. Reload! It's fine. We get... Lots of spells. And lots of ways to deal with this. Do we keep Valky for the dream? Answer, 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 answer. Uh, answer, answer. Valky, I'm sorry, you just gotta go. You'll never. I mean, we'll draw two lands in a row now to be. Truly hard raking here. Uh, 
but we now have a handful of stuff that can deal with this board state. See, this is a, a coerced team where Sulphur Falls has probably been better because we didn't shock ourselves as much. Okay, yeah, we can't block. Scar Mage, nice. As expected, we did draw land. All right, so let's see. We need white for the lifelink. So let's start with black, red. Let's dreadboard this. Then. So if we white, blue, yeah. White, actually no, undo. These are all instant speed spells. Let's play them at instant speed. Let's white blue. Creatures I control gain life link until the end of turn. Alright, it concedes to life link. Okay, burn. Honestly, I think it's a pretty decent matchup against Burn. I'd probably say that the Valky should come out and put... The, we should bring in the pushes, definitely. But what do we take out? Nahiri was kind of a one-hit, one... Cough uh, life gain. Alright, Nahiri, I'm sorry you did great in that match, but I need to probably just make sure... Okay, we'll probably take out another four drop. Oh, I don't know if that's a good thing because now our curve goes really messed up. But honestly, I think we need more early interaction to deal with the burn. So honestly, I think they had. I think he misplayed. I think he figured that he could burn the mana dock after we blocked it. But then didn't realize that she had, had hexproof. Alright, this is. Yeah, we keep this. Because this gives us turn two growth spiral into another growth spiral. Yeah, we keep this. So we will growth spiral into this, into another growth spiral. See what we can do there. And bring to light will hit probably a clarion effect. Well, we only have the one clarion effect, we really should. Us for two. Yep. Exile's top card of his library with light up the stage. So the top three. Did not. Hmm. Do we carry at it here? Or do we go for? I think we carry at it. This could be wrong. But if they go for their big turn here. Hmm. You know what? We're gonna block again. If they have the thing, they have the thing. Okay, they did not. Alright, for Astodon, that's fine. Trust me, I'm not casting a creature. 
Lid is tapped. That's the turn. We've got to wait and see. Hold our breath. Hope this isn't massive damage. Oh, interesting. Is this like more of a big red? Step. Play land. Plus. Play land. Right, let's go. Green, white, blue, black, red. Let's bring to light for five. And then let's clarion and kill all these creatures. Because that's where probably most of the damage is going to come from. Get a definite clarion. Let's cast both modes and wipe the board. Next turn, I think I just have to go for the Niv off the Brink to Light. And hope that's enough. We can't let Chandra get up to. Oh yeah, she's still two turns away. Stomp, yep. Light up the stage. Then you can play with fire. Alright, he has a skull skull wizard, so we can play with fire next turn. Top deck and Niv. I think we have to play the Niv. Black, red. And if he spends his turn, reload! Niv, I'm okay with that. Because we still have other options. Alright, these are plenty of options that can help us out. didn't hit as good as our last game but it would be tough to top a uh, so this is like a medium red damage to me. He's looking for the big finish. Light up the stage, hits. Lightning strike and Eidolon of the Great Rebel. So he could lightning strike here. Then Chandra put me down to one. trade the Niv now. That's the problem. Yeah, this might be the end here. Lightning strike on Niv, yep. If he ultimates Chandra, we're done for. Oh, and he played Revel. Yeah, I think Revel might win it for him.
Do we have an answer to Chandra? We have a Dreadball in the deck. That would put us... That, oh, there's still enough that he could do stuff to us. Mm, yeah, I think... I don't think there's a way out from here. Alright, I think we're going to have to... Abrupt decay this. Black. Green. We're going to go down to four. Then I think we're going to have to white green this. I think we just got to pass. I mean, it could be okay. Yep. Oh no, we could have a red spell, yeah. Yeah, we, we're not going to give him the emblem. God damn it, we got held up that game badly. Night of Autumn, why aren't you in here? You gain life. Honestly, I think we just kept a really bad hand. I think that's... That one's on me, because I... Looked at the ramp package and was like, Yeah, this will get us to Niv really quick. You know, we're going to run it back like this. We'll see how it runs. Burn is always a toss-up with mid-range. I mean, no, a truly focused mid-range deck will 100% crush burn. But our issue is here, this isn't... Okay, I'm going to keep this. And it's crazy because it just might work. Because we can Vanishing Verse the one drop. Because there's always a one drop. And that might disrupt him if he's going for the uh, Light of the Stage play. Okay. Right. Let's see what he goes for here. He kept a full seven every turn. He has another lot. He has a monastery. That's bad. All right, we got to verse one of these. Otherwise, we're going to take more damage than we should. Right, we are we are drawing heavy boys we'll get the master on now uh, raging raptors All right let's do this now no fatal push that could be an issue. Yep, stomp. I'm okay with that. Next turn we play a Niv and we have a massive roadblock and we can Niv again the turn after. So let's go white, green, red, black, blue, white. I'm getting better with my legs. Alright, <laughs> we have double voice oh god alright we are probably going to voice of resurgence into Prue's Mari command because dealing damage to some right probably going to see Chandra here but if he plays a Chandra he, it dies immediately so he's got to kill the Niv burning earth whenever a player plays an non-basic land for mana it deals one damage to them okay Um, what do I want to do here? I could bring Vanishing Verse this. I'd take five. But I think that's his ace in the hole here. So let's, yeah, let's do it. Or we Prism off. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it this way. Let's attack. Play the land, and then we'll pass the turn. Because I'm pretty sure we win the race. 
that will be an issue. Okay. T damage to any target. Target for the draws to cards. Okay. Blue, red. Yeah, that's fine. Huh? Red. That's fine. So he's making it so I can't cast mana. That's bad, actually. I just literally have lost. Probably because I tried to play it cutesy. Broke the cage doesn't hit anything. I literally just died, right? Yeah. Alright, well. I guess we got a race. This hand was actually sick against our deck. I threw away the other Prismari command. I really shouldn't have. Seven. Can I do one damage here without killing myself? Ugh. All right, it comes down to this. Do I have a damage? Well, I have a basic. Does that basic change anything? So, this will deal that much damage plus two, so I can tap three mana. And then die. Yep. Play that, still die. Still die, however I block, yep. Oh, my bad, that was me being so stupid. I just should have brung to light right away. It would have, uh, it would have totally hurt, but I would have, that one is on me. I totally threw that game. Right, so we're gonna go for four here. Um, yeah, <laughs> unreal. I'm still uh, literally just right after losing that burn match. Right, we don't know what we're up against, so we're going to keep this, because it's lands to cast stuff. If it's burn again, it won't matter, because I'm just going to leave it. Okay. Oh, is this... Wait, is this the same guy with yours off control deck? Alright, so we need to play... You first. No, it's not always of control. Is it just humans? Mutavolt would suggest humans. Alright. That's fine. Like this. Caveated. Thalia is now going to be an issue. So this is a death and taxes list. Power equal to the number of creatures you control whenever you attack an opponent, create a 1 1 tap and attacking. Okay, well, I'll block the failure because this has free toughness. Okay, my uh, Bring to Light is the worst possible draw against failures. I would like some more interaction, please. They have curved out spectacularly here. I 
gonna just die, right? Paladin class creatures. Oh, yeah, that's me fucking up. Okay. <laughs> yep. I fucked up there. I should have done that on the end step. I did not realize Paladin class had that static ability. So this is a creature based deck. It seems to be very creature heavy. Okay. Um, Bring the lights up bad in this matchup. We gotta make sure we kill the Clarions. Nahiri out. Valky, like, this is a taxing deck, so we won't get that high. Abrupt your case. Of, really, these, so many good spells, but they just. There's too many lands. I've. You know what? We're gonna take out the basic forest. We are going to go down, because we are going to go down 100% in lands. I've literally got a note on every match here that we flooded, with the exception of our very first game. Okay. Wow. Really? Okay, we keep the vanishing and the dread ball. We get rid of. We don't have white. This and this. Okay. Let's uh, push this right away. We've pulled in the new uh, new hate card. Right, if he plays a failure, we can't do nothing with that. But that's sorcery anyway, so let's just play this. Pass the turn. Now the white orchid. Red. Oh wait, no, not red.
Oh my word. Okay, we are uh, flooding. So let's get Gigantifer into our hand. And then we'll pass. <laughs> Right, we need to get sure that we have the basics next turn. Okay, this will do. Let's get Niv down. Blue, red, black, green, white. Alright, we Niv for five. Again, we're in a situation where I would like to try maybe cast Valky, but uh, once again, we do not have the Valky. Abrupt Decay, Vanishing vs. Griff Spiral, Dreadful, perfect. Okay. Right. How do we want to do this? This isn't a flying, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay. So let's. We should abrupt decay. You know, I don't care about the paladin class, honestly. He's got nothing in hand, so let's just strip his hand entirely. Let's abrupt decay this. Green, black, and then we can go white, red, red, and we will double clarion, destroy that, that will give us a zero, zero, we can attack, go back up to 20, there, now, Bump, bump. Valley as lieutenant, yes, that's nothing to worry about. It gives it double strike. I think we just now, I think we now 100% like get rid of his thing. So we will white, black, vanishing verse. Then we will dreadboard this. You are not going to have any creatures on the field. And then we will just go to combat and attack. So 
So, right, again. Maybe it's because the fetch lands in modern make it that I don't need as many. I really need to go deep dive on this deck. Right, game three. Um, I think this is how we stick with this, honestly. Um, we're going to live the dream. We're going to bring in the Valkyrie. We're going to take out Clovis. It's not going to reel any graveyard hate, and Clovis's life gain is great, but in. Ooh, shouldn't be moving around on this old chair. Clovis's life gain is, um, is great, but honestly, it's a win more card. If we can drop a Clovis and just gradually gain life by just, you know. Oh no! <coughs> Apologies. Sneezing out of nowhere. Alright, final game. Reveal Giganta. Alright, this is solid. Assuming that they're going to get a good start, we'll keep this. Paladin class, that's fine. We're not going to be doing anything that... Uh... We also have an answer to the Paladin class, actually. Turn to Falia? No, interesting. Could play this. Hold on, is there a way that we can cast both of these if we need to? Well, actually, no. We're not playing on instant speed here, so nothing he'll say has haste. So let's play this. Then let's grow spiral. Green, blue. We'll put Temple Garden into play tapped. And we'll pass the turn. So we just gotta play at sorcery speed right now. Oh, he did have a flash creature. He has a field of ruin. Ironically, as always, yep. Nope, because for some reason this list didn't want to run basic lands which is a shame it would have been very good right now oh yeah, he has a cast out as well okay see what he's got second paladin class luminarch We did a land there, so does this land change anything? So first of all, we can't dread ball. We can abrupt decay. So let's abrupt decay this. We can then abrupt decay again next turn. Honestly, he's got a lot of threats here, but if we can just answer them one by one, I think in a one for one, we'll be okay. My opponent is thinking in the tank here. I'm going to pretty much remake this mana base because my notes on each match say bad land, tap lands were too bad, 
Match two was of control, flooding and flooding. Match three against the Vern. Bad uh, lands for the matchup, also, that was more on my misplay. But a huge drop of it was me. Um, but one of the hugest losses was honestly, um, which sounds silly to say out loud, it was just me messing around with the freaking. Um, Trying to be cool instead of just taking five damage. Although to be fair, I wasn't expecting Torbrand out of nowhere. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna completely remake the mana base on this. I want to go down to 25, maybe lose the carrier. Tit. This is a promising uh, development. The fact that he's um, putting it all on this. Alright, there's another land. Um, I think we exile here. In case he does have some kind of protection. We'll just exile it. Let's see what he does. He has another flash creature? No. Another cast out. Interesting. Cast out is dangerous if you know that I'm running the uh, Raven Inspector. And crack it, draw a card. Thalia. Oh, ironically, that does actually do a lot here. Okay, so we need to red, black, dread bore the Thalia. Um, hold on. We can't do both, can we? Yeah, we can. We can do both if we shock this in, which I'm going to because, right, then play this, untapped, and kill that. Right, you now have no cards, you have one way to draw cards, and provided he doesn't top deck another Falia, I'm going to go for the turn Niv. Uh, he's just leveling up, so Paladin class is full level here. We'll play this land. Right, let's go black, red, blue, gr white, green, five color bring to light. Grabbing and we're gonna grab a Niv because if he's holding a reload um, effect to mess with us, we want to be able to mess with him back. Alright. Two guards in hand. Valia's lieutenant. Double upgrade. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. So, let's bring to light, black, green, red, white, and blue. Let's end it with a Valky, because we love Valky. And cast Tybalt, the Cosmic Imposter. Then we will Vanishing Verse this thing here. And then we will plus Tybalt. Um, have we played a land this turn? No, we had not, but we had now. Pass the turn attack. And let's see what our opponent does. Dampening Sphere. Okay. That was his hay card. Quite a good hay card, if you're honest. Alright, that's uh, Tybalt. Knight of the White Orchid. I don't think he has less lands than us. So let's do this. Let's uh, create a treasure token, destroy target artifact. I would like to create a treasure token and destroy this. For no reason other than to show that we had an answer to pretty much everything he wanted to do. We'll play the land for turn. We will play Fraven Inspector. We'll investigate. 
We'll cast the Voice of Resurgence. And then we will attack. Alright, yep, you can see that. Because we were going to ultimate our Cosmic Imposter. Right, we'll jump straight into the tech here for the end. Right, all in all, no matches did I bring in either the blanks or the mystic dis disputes. So potentially I might change them out with some other multicolored cards. Fatal pushes, as always, were good answer to early aggro. Unmoored Ego did a good job. We just got valued out and I got misplayed, to be fair. Knight of Warden came in a few times with Charm. We didn't run into any graveyard hate. Honestly, I think I might put these for vetoes because they'd be more um, general. First thing I notice, first match Boros, bad tap lands, and we had, I had a few misplays because I basically didn't count double strike for damage. Right. Also, no basic planes. In fact, low on basics in general. So, first note from all matches where we either flooded, didn't have the basics for the Yishan, or we got hated out in the final match with Field of Ruin. So. I'm upping the basics and lowering the land count. I probably don't want as many triumphs. I just want some more early game interaction as well. All in all, I enjoyed and think everything worked pretty well. I think maybe take out Growth Spiral for some other effects. I don't know what yet, but I'm going to look into it because honestly, the Caryatids I think are a pretty good inclusion. They uh, good answer, good early results. But I think, also Voice Resurgence, as always, is a killer good card. But yes, the biggest takeaway from this is I need to work on this mana base and potentially drop some of the growth spirals. I think I could go down to 25 with 4 Caryated. Or do I take out the Caryated? I'm going to have to experiment, but it's either we take out the Caryated or we take out the growth spirals. I suppose late game growth spiral is a cantrip and it is hittable with Niv. But yes, that's the direction we're going with. We have to rework the mana base. <laughs> Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.